Hi, I'm Nancy Clark. And I'm your Marie Wallace Phillips. We're the Hospice and Bereavement Coordinators with Theo and Oxford, and this is Morning Chats with Anne Marie and Nancy. about why number three, which is the ritual or funeral experiences those who are grieving have. Funerals or any ritual such as the celebration of life create a meaningful experience for the survivors. These allow the survivors to be given social, emotional, and spiritual support and healing. Ceremonies help people to heal and also to come together to remember their loved one. A funeral is a time and a place to express grief, honor the person who has died, once again receive support and affirm that life does go on. Nancy, we talked about this a while ago, you know, with some individuals that it's never too late for a ritual or a funeral, especially in the time that we're living in now due to COVID-19. Many individuals, especially at the beginning of the pandemic, were unable to have a funeral um, or a celebration of life. Right. Yeah, they weren't afforded the opportunity to meet, um, to gather together in honor of the person who died. So that is something we really like to um, connect with our clients about and let them know that it really, there, it, there's no timeline. It isn't too late for some type of ritual, as Anne-Marie said, whether it's a tree planting or a memorial on the anniversary of that person's death. So now we're gonna move on to why number four, which is the people in your life. So the support system that you surround yourself with after the death of a loved one is a vital ingredient in your healing process. Mm -hmm. um, so having a support system that's stabilizing of at least one other person really is necessary in order to um, be able to, to mourn publicly. And without that, it could lead to more difficulty doing that work of mourning. Um, healing does require empathy, uh, caring, and gentle encouragement. So again, having that support system, someone or a group who can provide that for you and gently encourage you to, to dip your toe a little bit into the future um, is very important. And Anne-Marie, yeah. did you want to touch on, um, on learning to accept that support? Yes, so when you're grieving, sometimes people say to me, I don't want to ask for any help because I don't want to bother people and I just don't feel, I don't feel like reaching out. Learning to accept support and reaching out for support is vital. Um, it comes with no shame or no isolation. Um, and we know if you isolate yourself um, after somebody has died that you love, it's quite difficult to grieve. Uh, going back to um, your support system, that's why I find the beauty of our peer support groups available through VON Oxford right. are absolutely wonderful. It gives the person who is grieving an opportunity to talk openly and freely about their grief and oftentimes times among individuals who have also experienced um, a loss or a death in their life right. um, and it gives a, a lot of uh, common ground to our clients. Right. And being the opportunity to borrow hope from someone else's yeah. experience, someone who's further along in their grief journey and healing uh, is a very powerful thing for Absolutely. fresh grievers. Yeah. So for more information, contact us by phone or email or visit voinoxford.ca. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to view previous morning chat videos and for any updates of future videos. Thank you. Take care.